Welcome to the Sankofa Show. I'm your host, Lolo. Sankofa means taking the learnings of the past to help you propel the way for the future. In our quest in finding solutions to contemporary issues, this is the show in which we're going to take a critical look at all the systems that governs us. That speaks to your legal systems, education system, financial systems, health, cultural systems, spiritual systems, religious systems. Are these systems actually serving us? Or are we merely complying by virtue of having accepted it like that? For such hard talk, help me welcome my next guest. Well, 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 welcome one, welcome all. We are back again here at the Nghihab Cultural Village. I'm your host, Lolo, and this is your favorite show, the Sankofa podcast. I've got with me somebody that's very uh, proud of her cultural heritage in the form of the dress, the Damara dress. And we will hear from Ozi Bonita today. Uh, Ozi Bonita, welcome to the show. Please just introduce yourself to my audience. Uh, good evening. I am Bonita Kribes. I am from Horikas, uh -huh. originated from the Gayodaman. Uh -huh. So I'm Gayodama uh -huh. by birth. Okay. I'm residing in Swakopmund. So I'm pleased to be with you tonight. Wow. Thank you too. And by the way, she agreed for this at very short notice. And I just want to tell you, I, I really appreciate that. Ozi Bonita, I really appreciate that. Okay, while, while we are at it, please tell us, what is your connection to the dress? The, the, the dress in the Damara woman. Dress? Damara, Damara Kois, Tiro Kois. Yes. Um, dress in the Damara woman. Mm. Uh, Damara ladies are actually initiated into the dress upon reaching a womanhood that is basically mm -hmm. menstruation mm -hmm. so whenever a damara lady gets to that stage of womanhood mm -hmm. she will have to wear a long dress our dresses okay. are covering our feet okay so there is important significance when it comes to women's feet mm -hmm. and that's why it's important to wear the dress. Uh -huh. Now coming to the Damara woman in the dress, there is a sacred and divine connection okay. with the dress. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you are basically initiated into the dress. Yes. That's when you how, reach now womanhood. Yes. That's how Damara girl grew pride into the dress. Uh -huh. So our pride and how we wear the dress is basically coming from home. Ah. Each and every tradition from home is appreciated. So our grandmothers normally introduce this dress. Okay. To us. So before women are not allowed to wear the dress before that stage. Or what now? Um, for sake of promotion, we do okay. before the stage, but um initially you cannot wear the dress because that's where you cover your head uh -huh. so women that are younger uh -huh. we call them wahidi okay yeah okay uh, young woman oh, uh -huh. yeah and um upon wearing the dress that that means that you are now grown enough to uh -huh. for the world uh -huh. to get married to get a husband to get mm. children but now one can say it should be from age to 14 and up mm. but um so this dress carries so much so many things actually yes so ah. many things and um to go back to the history of the dress this is mm. a seven dress it's basically a civil war dress yes it started from yes before 1880 okay our parents used to wear animal hides, okay. clothes from animal hides. Okay. And it so happened that before the First World War, mm. our parents were forced into this dress. Why were they forced into the dress? Because they were so beautiful. Their contours of the, the bodies 
Well, actually, that is very much beautiful, and okay. it was destructive for the bosses. Okay, so I heard right. Yes. So, uh, because the story that I heard, how it actually got to the Damara woman, was because uh, the 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 madams of the house, like uh, if, if if this Damara woman would now be working for these white people, and. Uh, she was made to wear the dress to cover herself so that she is not attractive to the husband of the madam and so that uh, just is it is it is it is it right it's is it, right so but it was for that reason it was for Tau that reason. yeah Tau keep, keep. So, so for that reason we, we our ancestors were forced to wear the dress now they ah. got fabric fabric from the colonizers okay. so it was then from 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 germans uh -huh. so our dresses are having cartridge pleats uh -huh. behind uh -huh. it's also called um german pillet so pleats. it's actually a german dress yes oh, okay yes. Um, initially they are perception that the dress belongs to victorians mm. but our pleats Mm -hmm. tells another story okay. because it's cartridge and it's coming from German okay. and we were colonized mm. by German so okay. after First World War mm -hmm. ne, we were forced into this dress mm. the, the sleeves mm. there are few elements on the dress yeah this, that's what I was going to ask next Yeah, the sleeves are basically just to make way for our elbows to be flexible mm -hmm. that's why it's like this so basically it's mm -hmm. a working dress so we took pride into this dress i see and ever since 1800s mm. our ancestors used to wear the dress and mm. that's how we came to wear the dress i see okay so this is actually for for you to be able to comfortably still work yeah. while you are uh, so that you don't have to pull up the sleeves and so on to have ample movement uh -huh. of my sleeves uh -huh. when i'm working uh -huh. so there's a specific code of design actually uh, attached to the dress so there's a specific way in which it should be designed yes or i can or somebody can uh, have their own design or is there a format uh, or, or are those now the the specifics that the dress must have yeah there are few features that okay. we call elements of the dress but okay. before we come there mm -hmm. i will still explain the the connection with the okay. dress okay please do. after a young woman got get into this dress mm -hmm. and she's initiated with the dress mm. she wears the dress to sacred places okay like church mm -hmm. when there are events mm -hmm and and um wherever there are celebrations but it was everyday dress for our ancestors okay due to the modern world it changed okay that we are not wearing mm. so i was initiated in the dress and ever since then for me it's important as a career woman mm. i do work in the office mm -hmm. and normally i work where i wear western clothes mm. But whenever I get that chance, mm. I wear my traditional attire. Mm. Okay, and then, um, but how how is it received, like nationally, internationally, as you portray now this dress? How how does the world look at it? We are ambassadors From... of our dress. Mm. We don't. I see that. We we don't allow people to discriminate at ah. it uh -huh. because it's also our constitution. Const constitutional right yes <laughs> i see now where did the sudden hype come from if i know uh, it was worn always eh? but then uh, suddenly we are seeing uh, the atas group and the tumeb group and the uh well, Korea's group all, almost like a competition type of thing i don't want to say it that way but uh it, it, it's a beautiful thing that yeah. it, it, it's coming up where does the hype come from who started this? Um, we were a group of women uh -huh. that were advertising the dress, promoting the dress on Facebook, uh -huh. on social media. Uh -huh. And uh, we were doing this voluntarily. Okay. But um, each and everyone coming from their own 
perspective mm -hmm. is to our way my dress mm -hmm. as I want to. Mm -hmm. Until 2020 January, when we decided, okay guys, we are doing this. We are seeing what um, other groups are doing. Mm -hmm. So let's just unite mm -hmm. and then get a structure to advertise the dress. That's mm. how in January 2020 mm. we established the group mm. Nisati. Okay, Nisa. Nisa, Nisa Damaradi. Nisa Damaradi. Yes. Ah, That's, proud Damara woman. Yes. yes. Mm. And um, that was on 9th of January 2020. Okay. So we started so you agreed there that at what time the Tsume ladies should come and at which month the other ladies should come no, and so on? No. Okay. Um, we agreed to come together to okay. form a baseline okay. to say this is how a typical Tamara dress should look like. Mm. These are the seven elements. Mm. The dress should be fuller with mm. the sleeves, mm. should have the desired length mm. to cover your feet. Mm. as well as the L shape okay. or your pattern should close mm. in order to show the shape of the dress. Okay. Ne? And the okay. dress must have pleats. That's mm. how we came up about the baseline of the dress. Mm. And together mm. we decided to establish groups in the town to revive the dress. Because there was a time frame um, between where we started and find out between 1950 mm -hmm. and 2002 mm. that the dress almost was not existing. Okay, almost so, disappeared. Yeah, so we decided because our mother started to be career woman mm. and some teachers, some mm. Nurses and they themselves wore it much less. Yes, because mm. of uniform and code. I get you. And code of Western clothing. I get you. So our grandmothers mm. were the ones that were wearing the dress. And I get you. in Damara, we also refer to the dress as Omarokes, mm. Kapurokes, or Omarokes. Mm. So our perception was basically the dress does not belong to us, mm. it belongs to the elderly people. Okay. So we decided, okay, come on, let's do the baseline. Let's revive the dress. Now mm. reviving it went through stages up to restoration. Mm. And then we decide to preserve it for the generation to come. I hear you. Mm. Wow, beautiful. No, I like it uh, because man, there's a, there's a, uh, lately there's a, there's a love for culture and um traditional stuff that, that 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 came up within me and i see opportunities in us loving our cultures uh because there you brought some few dresses there now let's let's talk about this before i tell my viewers what the opportunity that i see in this let's talk about the pricing of these these dresses you are most now having a uh, tailors that make this because i just want to spot the economic op opportunity here my mind tells me that if we embrace this, and we're taking this Tamara dress as an example, if we embrace our cultural attire, the Namas theirs, the Damaras theirs, the Hereros theirs, and, and we begin to market and to consciously wear more of our cultural attire, we would be creating or perhaps promoting an, an industry in which we can employ a lot of people actually if we if a lot of people find interest in the damara dress then the tailors are benefiting from that at the end of the day and uh, more people are getting jobs that, uh, that that instead of a situation where we currently uh, only buy our clothing from abroad and from all the shops that import the stuff see don't you th think that uh, that could be an opportunity for, for, for young people if more people are, are, are getting the interest in wearing this traditional stuff. Yes, there is an economical growth within Definitely. it. Definitely. And benefits within it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Job creation through it. But is it not expensive to, uh, you need to buy now the material and you need to pay for the tailor and the, all the attachments to the dress and 
what is the uh, more or less price that you, price range that this 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 uh, dresses cost average um, cheapest one mm. can even cost you like 400 from 400 up to including fabric two thousand dollars it depends including also the cape on, yes it it mm. depends also on your taste mm. how you can be expensive okay so that by uh, by the differences in the designs yes the price could change yes i see now tell me a little bit about the cape how uh, exactly uh, is is there a certain standard in which it should be paid or is there <laughs> Is it acceptable if anybody just to does something? You cannot to put just it on? do something. They, okay. they, they are There's a standard. There's a standard, mm. and um, we have two layers. Do you give? Would you give uh, uh, assistance or training to other all the ladies? You see, I've got viewers there that are from different tribes. But if somebody now finds interest in uh, the dress, is there somebody that helps with the? was the king of the cape uh, do others that do not know that or is it just expected for you to know it we assist each other wherever we go do occasions okay we look out for each other we fix each other's Case. crowns okay ne? we call it crowns oh it's and, a crown and, yeah it's our crown oh so we fix each other Okay. But now, if they they someone that needs to go to an event, we always assist each other for free. Okay. I mean, Vendu, mm. please call your Karen. I mean, mm. Sokopmon, please call Marishen. So because there's a skill to that, ne? Yes, there is. Mm. It's actually an art. It's an art. It's no, an art. I get you. Being a damara is 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 an art. Okay. Yeah, because they used to be excellent seamstresses, mm. excellent tailors. Mm. How does the Damara dress differ from the Herero dress? Uh, we keep it original. Okay. Damaras and Hereros used to stay together. Okay. These dresses were forced onto our ancestors. Mm. So they were mm. staying together and the difference between the two mm. can only be tell, tell by, by their DNA. Mm. Mm. But, okay. But they were staying together. That's why the dresses are similar. Are similar. But mm. um, the crepe, mm. we make it that time we are wearing, unlike the Herero people. Okay. Oh, people only sell it's ready people. made and yeah, it's just the, like a head. Yeah. yeah. Ah. But ours, the time we are wearing, it's tight at the time. I'm fasting in my mm. yes. I see. And also the, the, there's, a, there's a difference in the look and the, the appearance of the Heros is much more straight. Yeah. Because they started to evolve their cape, ours mm. it remained like that. Okay, so their cape is modernized. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, now um, I see you brought some dresses here, and you mentioned something about a dress that you have for like, that is like 90 years old. Uh, which one is that? Would you like to? Can you please show us that 90 and, and give us the story behind that dress if a dress if you should possess a dress that is 90 years old there should be a story behind that we say it's a feel heritage. free to demonstrate heritage. yes you can also you may walk the way a lady is supposed to walk when she's wearing the dress this is heritage okay this is 90 something years old me wow uh, this was the confirmation dress of my grandmother. C must be great grandmother. My grandmother. Grandmother, okay. I'm old enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this dress, uh, you can see it's similar the sleeves. I see. Similar. I see. And you can even feel it, the, the quality of the fabric. It's not like modern. In okay. The pattern itself, uh -huh. okay? because it's a specific dress for a specific occasion. Event, oh, okay? I see. It has now this uh, frilly kiss, should mm. I say? So, mm. okay. Look at this, Ozzy Bonita. Please hold it there, mm -hmm. and uh, we will continue right there, right after the break. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are still here tonight with Ozzy Bonita. 
we're being told about the significance of the Damara dress and the Damara lady and the Damara dress and the crown that comes with the dress and the specifics of the dress and, and so on. And the, the general overall pride that she has with the dress. And I'm enjoying myself here in the studio tonight. Ozi Bonita, please take us through the 90 year old dress. This dress was for the special occasion. Okay. It was confirmation dress. Okay. So I got it from my grandmother. Yes. For my daughter's confirmation. Okay. But you know how they are. She decided not to wear. Not to wear. Mm. So I then took the dress for myself. Okay. And it's fitting okay. perfectly. Okay. It is adjusted. Now this one is a typical Tamara dress okay. for modern woman. That's like how modernized. Modernized. I see. But um, we kept all the features of the dress, the mm -hmm. L shape, ne? but mm -hmm. this one is just straight up. Okay. And then the fillet plates mm -hmm. that is um, embracing the dress as okay. well as the sleeve. Okay. So the buttons is just decoration. Mm. Now we have another one. This is just a modern dress as well. Okay. Another modern design. Okay. It does not have the L shape. All right. But now it has the pleats. Okay. Just to complement in the same sleeve. Uh -huh. Just to keep the origin origin of uh -huh. the dress. Uh -huh. And here also. Ozzy Bonita, how many of these dresses do you own? Uh, I own 83 dresses. 83? Yes, because ever since I'm wearing mm. this dress, I embrace it. So this one, Yo. you see here, mm -hmm. it's a little bit up. Mm -hmm. Unlike the one I'm wearing, it's a little oh, bit okay. down. So I this see. one, just to have variety of it, I see. and the buttons also differ. I see. But it remains the same i see yes. mm -hmm. these are these are a few of my dresses i see just to display mm -hmm. great stuff great stuff great stuff okay now i can see your pride in the dress and i can see that you are really you 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 know your story with this dress yes. i see okay Ozzy bonita thank you um now are there ready-made dresses that uh, ladies that are, for example, interested in this can go buy somewhere or is it just tailor-made each and every dress? How, if, if, if some of my viewers are now interested in this dress, where can they get it? Or should they should we maybe put your contact details uh, on the screen? Or Our dress is a Cinderella story. Cinderella story? Yes. What does that mean? If it fits you. Yes. Then it's tailor-made, it's yours. Okay, but is there is there like a shop like that, that sells them? Not Already now. designed? Not now, because okay. you have the connection with the dress. So you have to make your dress mm. only that fits you. So you are telling me the dress is only for those that have a connection with it? No, <laughs> not really, <laughs> not really. Okay. Um, if anyone... In, anyone wants a dress, yes. definitely it can be made for them. Okay. But um, it's good to have the dress, but mm. then you have to make effort. Mm. That's the part. You mm. have to make effort and desire to have the dress. Mm. You know why I'm asking? Um, I don't know if I'm just imagining things or I don't know if it's even realistic, but I'm picturing a Namibian, eh? where we will live in harmony cross-culturally where we will begin to embrace and to celebrate each other's cultures and uh, even join each other in celebrating our cultural days and stuff so i'm imagining if if if, if the hero if there's a hero festival like the uh, yes. i forgot the name now of the of the hero festival there's the gaup fiesta so I would like to see people from different tribes joining such a festival. You see, at my at my our generation level, I want us to get together more. 
then we actually separate because at the moment each tribe is running his own direction which is not bad but um, if we can just uh, celebrate each other more if we can just um, join each other in our celebrations so that's where i'm actually coming from when i ask if somebody from a different tribe gets interested in this uh, this year's cow feast for example and uh, where would they be able to get the dress that's that's actually where my question comes okay but besides that enough of the dress now thank you to my other part of the show that i wanted to ask you is you know like i said I don't know if I'm dreaming. I don't know if it's attainable, achievable, if it's even realistic. But I want Namibians in my generation to get closer together. To at the moment, if I should if we should be honest in Namibia and I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. Vambos are only thinking about themselves. Tamaras are only concentrating on getting the damaras uh, out of the uh, or ge- getting the damaras to uh, towards economic uh, prosperity to get them uh, from where Hereros are doing their own thing their side uh, obviously concentrating on their tribe and the namas are also concentrating on their stuff so i am envisioning a namibia where we Uh, mingle together cross-culturally and we get to a certain standard where we begin to think about our collective survival instead of only damaras only concentrating on the damara survival and the bamboos for do to sustain their dominance or do uh, work towards their uh, pro- progress in life if we can uh, uh, because i actually see this is as the only way we gonna deal with this corruption and nepotism and all these things if we get together and begin to think about our collective survival as a namibian and get that namibian identity besides your damara identity and my nama or whatever identity that namibian identity that that oneness ne, of uh, um, and celebrating each other cross culturally regardless of in uh you being a different tribe than me you see, just that unity is that i don't even know if i'm explaining it properly the way i am seeing it but are you getting me yes and is that achievable yes or are we too far uh, away from each other uh, and is it too far fetched you think it's a, it, it's 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 attainable it's, it's attainable Mm. It If can we be do done. What? It can be done only through kindness and love. Mm. Humanity. You know, live with humanity. Mm. You know what, Osiponida? In each and every tribe, I want to say in Africa, there are basic fundamentals in our cultural upbringing. That thing of sharing. Spirit yeah? of Ubuntu. Spirit of Ubuntu. Thank you. If we thank you, that's that. That is actually that 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 signs it off. Yeah. If do you think that we can get that spirit of Ubuntu, where when you come into my office, it shouldn't matter what tribe you are, but you will receive me the same way. You will receive anybody else. Yes. Can we get there? We will get there. As young people, can we get in Namibia at that place where doesn't matter the color of the skin of the kid your kid is playing with? Mm-hmm. Because at the moment, I don't see it that way. We are a very tribalistic country, you know. It can be done through kindness, being kind to each other. Mm. That's the key. Being kind to each other? Mhm. sharing resources mm-hmm. sharing the wealth of our country kindness kindness so kindness summarizes it all if we are kind to each other we will not have corruption yes if we are kind genuinely kind to each, yes. each other we will share yes. equally yes 
And if we are kind, uh, then generally, I will be, be able to tolerate anything. You will be able to tolerate anything, and you will be able to love everybody. Yes, kindness is the key. Kindness is the key, and that's our take home for tonight. Yes. Thank you so much, Ozi Bonida. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through at this short notice and uh, talking to us about the dress. Thank you for the closing line. I'm taking that kindness yes. with me. Um, I have an invitation mm-hmm. on the 29th of oh, April. Yeah. yeah, we will exhibit the clan dresses. Various Tamara clans okay. will exhibit their stories. Okay, what? Tamaras do. Okay. All the Tamara clans. All the Tamara How clans. How many are there? We are 34, 34, but the main clans are eight. So we are eyeing on exhibiting all the clans mm-hmm. as much as possible. Okay. And then we'll close off with the dance. Okay. On Ka- the 29th of April? Yes. And that will be Swakopmund? Swakopmund. Wow. The Erongo ra- ladies will gather in Erongo. It's celebrated all over. I see. All over the country. I so see. Tamara ladies elsewhere will celebrate mm-hmm. wherever they are, their clan dresses. And then we will flood the media, social wow. media. Well, every chance we get, we will flood. Wow. And then our story will be known. Wow. Are the other tribes also welcome to attend very this much, event? Very much. We are kind Are they people. invited to they, attend the event? They are invited. <laughs> okay. They are invited to attend because for us, uh-huh. The dress is all the warmth. I see. Yes, it I gather see. people. It doesn't say only Tamara people. I see. Yeah. I see. Wow. So on that note, on the 29th of of uh, not October, April, in Swagopmund, right here at the coast, is uh, gonna be another event where there's gonna be a huge exhibition of the Tamara dress the much spoken about, the hyped about Tamara dress. And uh, we are inviting everybody from all over the country that wants to come and see and feel the Tamara dress and to wear it and uh, and just have some good time with, uh, with, us. with the Tamara ladies that will be presenting the dress here. Ozi Bonita, thank you very much. This is the third time I'm thanking you now. So <laughs> we can't seem to close. I think we, both of us are enjoying the show here tonight. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yes. Any last Great. word that you want to give my audience or, you, or do you want them to hold on to the word kindness? Definitely hold on to the word kindness. Right. But please, for the ladies who wants to join, okay. the Nisa Damaradi. Okay. We have um, teams everywhere okay. to associate with us doesn't cost money, okay. but um, our branches, mm. just for management, mm. are costing, um, asking um, little fee. Okay. Depends on. So it's like a membership fee. Membership okay. fee, just to get it rolling. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. That's, so that's ours is just to promote the Tamara dress because it's our heritage. All right. And it's tradition to wear it. All right. It becomes our culture. All right. Thank you so much, Ozi Bonita. Pleasure. Yes. I'll try to get uh, a proud Herero Lloyd, uh, Herero lady and a proud Nama lady and uh, a Chwana lady. I actually want to do a couple of shows with only women, you know, only women that will come and yeah. uh, exhibit their stuff here. At the end of the day, uh, I just want us to celebrate our cultures, our heritage, that which our our ancestors left us with uh just to bring up the pride in it and see the business opportunities that lie in these things and also uh preserving and uh, making use of our cultural food cultural medicine there's there's industries waiting out there the people are coming here laying claim on some of our natural resources natural products and actually uh shifting us off of the value chain so it's time we begin to own our things it's time we begin to own ourselves our traditional ways our our cultural attires and food and medicine and so on and get part of the value chain 
on that note thank you so much for having tuned in uh, for this episode and uh, see you at the next episode thank you Thank you.